Well, Neil, a bit like last season, a, a late, late equaliser for the home side. You must be massively frustrated by that today. Massively frustrated by the season, to be honest, John. Um, but I think that game, um, or the end of that game, sums us up um, so far this season. I thought we'd back four have done well. Um, we've got to be better higher up the pitch. You know, we um, got into good positions, get the ball away sloppily at times. Um, but again, you know, how often do you see goalkeepers? Give us chances like we're giving, you know, other teams. Um, two 0 15 minutes to go, cruising. Yeah, we're under a little bit of pressure, as you would expect down a hill, wind on the pitch. Um, but we're in cruise control, and then that happens. Oh, Suddenly their tails are lifted, but we're still ticking over. We don't clear the ball properly. We're into the 97th, 98th minute. Just stick in there, mark your men. Like it's a free header at the back post. And you scored two great goals and you, as you say, in cruise control really, got 15 to play. The Danny Hurst incident where he, he spilled the, uh, the free kick, it's a double blow because of course he's got injured as well. It looked quite a nasty one. I'm not 100% sure. I think he's twisted his knee, I think. Um, his, his, I haven't had the full um, information I've shown yet, but I think he, he's dropped the ball, hasn't he? And I think he's gone to remedy. I don't know. Oh. Redeem himself and the lads tapped it in. But as I say, we don't get, we don't get them. But mistake after mistake keep costing us games of football Ian's come on obviously his confidence is at a low ebb at the moment and, and there was a, a ball in that maybe he could have held on to I didn't really see the one this is the one where he tipped round mm. I don't didn't really see it thought his position was a, he looked a little bit too far over for me but um, but again it's still been knocked about we had the chance to clear the ball but it's a free header at the back post mm. um, you know and you've got to go and see the game out and but massively frustrating, massively disappointing um, because it's a difficult pitch, difficult conditions. You've got yourself two goals in front and then you gift the opposition one and then you probably um, gift them two, to be fair. I mean, we don't get that, um, you know, and, uh, and as I say, it sums, sums up probably a lot of our games this season. Joe Garvin came off injured as well in the first half and that appeared to disrupt you a little bit. But what's the injury to him? I think he's twisted his knee as well. Um, so we had him, obviously Wade hasn't played a lot of football, um, Rules coming back from a long time out, um, so we're a little bit you know, leggy at times um, as the game went on on a heavy pitch, but I'm not making excuses, that's not good enough, you know, um, good en we weren't good enough first half, you know, first half we should have put the game to bed, mm. if, if they wanted to get, they would have put the same effort in in the first half as what they put in for a lot of the second half, the game would have been over by half time, mm. but too many... Um, I think they didn't want to, didn't want to do that, um, you know, and um, you know that's something that we've got to look at. But we can't keep giving giving leads away and, and, and conceding sloppy goals and making the errors that we're making, you know, and um, you know people point the fingers at this, that, and the other. At the end of the day, basic, basic errors costing us football matches. And I keep saying it, goals change games, and no more so than what's happened there this afternoon. Once that first, first goal goes in, their tails are up, but we should still see the game out, and we haven't. You know, we give the ball away, sloppy, give a corner away. Um, and we've, we've conceded an equaliser. Has it accelerated the need perhaps to bring in some fresh faces? I think so, John, but it's, it's finding the right ones that are going to, you know, I thought we massively missed Lewis Montrose, you know, I think he's a big player for us. Um, but we can't make excuses, have we? we're 2 up, so, you know, we can talk about new faces, we can talk about, we're 2 nil up, we make a, a, a fundamental error, and then we don't see the game out. Um, I can stand here and we can talk about this player, that player, the other player. Two nil up away from home. Don't, I don't. Players of this ability at this level of football should not be conceding two goals. Um, and we have done very sloppy two goals, and it's cost us two points again. You put an extra defender on towards the end. Is that because you were worried that something like that was going to happen? Well, I just thought they were throwing caution to the wind. They were throwing everyone at it, and the ball wasn't sticking up front. So. We, you know, I thought uh, balls coming in the box. Let's see, you know, if they're going to come in. Let's see, if we can get another you know, defender on to win headers for us. Um, but we haven't closed the ball on the edge of the box, and as I say, um, massively, massively disappointed. Most probably the most disappointed I've been since I've been here. I was going to say a long journey back for you, a long journey back for the county fans who travelled down as well today. It's sad for them. Oh, very much so. You know, um, they travel six hours in torrential, torrential weather, I presume, coming down because um, it has been here. Um, 
But at the end of the day, you know, these players are going to stand up and be counted. You know, there's people travelling, paying a lot of money um, to come and watch his, to come and watch the team. Um, and you know, two one the fans would have gone home happy. Um, we all would have gone home happy. We would have, you know, not been happy, totally happy with the performance. But you know, but as I say, um, massively disappointed for for, for everybody who's travelled. Um, but you know, as you said before, we need we need some new faces um, because we're we're taking a lot of injuries. Um, but I'll be honest, I thought the back four um, were excellent. Thanks, Peter. Cheers.